All right, here with uh, Sacramento King, Jordan Ford. And uh, Jordan, when I think about your journey here, I, I got to go back and to your times at Folsom and Sacramento if, to hear your background. You've always, uh, have you always been a Kings fan or have you been a Kings fan growing up? Yeah, most definitely just being, uh, you know, from Sacramento, watching the Kings play uh, as a young kid, um, you know, going to all the games. Um, yeah, it, I've always been a Kings fan and enjoyed going to, to the games and always hope they did well. And uh, it's just it's been so awesome to, you know, actually be on the team now and uh, get this opportunity for summer league. So I'm imagining you being at games at, I guess, then Old Arco or whatever it was called at the time, Sleep Train, who knows. But did you have visions, dreams of being on that court someday? Oh, definitely. Yeah. We, I mean, we played uh, some of our high school games uh, at the Arco Arena and just getting a feel for the court. I would always uh, envision myself, you know, actually being on the team. And uh, that was always a dream of mine to, to make the NBA. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm still pushing for it. And um, hopefully I can make that happen soon. So now you have some experience behind you. In your mind, how do you do it? How do you crack the code? How do you get the attention enough of the staff to, to get you on the squad? I think just uh, keep keep doing all the right things, um, doing all the small details, um, just showing up at every, every day, doing my job to, to the best of my ability. That's really all I can control, um, c- control my attitude as well. So uh, I, th- I, th- I think I'm on uh, the right track and, you know, just got to just got to stay with it and uh, just keep working as hard as I can and do the best I can. Seems like a good fit for your style. I mean, you play quick I mean, you move the ball. That seems to be one of your strengths. This team does that. Um, have you made that your own goal to like really push the tempo? Most definitely. Um, I'm usually one of the shorter guys out there. So uh, one thing I could use to my advantage is my speed and my quickness. So, um, you know, before the defense is set, I try to, you know, even on makes and misses, I try to get it out quick and uh, just push the ball down down the court and, Hopefully we can get some easy baskets out of that. If not, uh, we can get into our sets quickly with a, a short 24 second shot clock. How difficult is it as a decision maker, a point guard, to find yours, but yet also know maybe who's hot or who who's open? Kind of find that balance. Definitely. Uh, I mean, it, it's definitely something that you you have to learn throughout the years, and uh, depending on uh, what team you're on, it's going to be different for every team. There's not one uh, size fits all, but. Um, you know, you definitely you got to look to score. You got to look to be aggressive. But at the end of the day, like the, the team's going to run better if uh, everybody's touching the ball, everybody's uh, getting a feel for the game and everybody's eating. So um, it's my job as the point guard to make sure that I uh, balance it the right way. Does that also fit into what you're I mean, look, you're trying to impress and that could be assists, steals, defense, but also um, scoring. So like finding that balance of trying to make the impression, but also playing the team concept. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, you have to find that balance. And I think uh, having, you know, a few years in the G League has helped me develop uh, in that area. And yeah, it's it's a balance that you have to find as a point guard to be a good point guard in the NBA. And um, I think I'm starting to find that balance, definitely. Um, but uh, I just want to try to play to my strengths and, you know, that scoring, playmaking, um, you know, just I, I, I always want to win when I'm mm-hmm. out there on the floor. So that's always my main objective. Something you'd be a good one to ask this, like the, the, something we debate on pregame shows or postgame shows or talk shows is, is, is it more beneficial to get a ton of reps, G League, some other league overseas, wherever, or be on an NBA roster where maybe you're not playing as much, but you're getting the practice time, film time around the big club? I don't know if you, your thoughts on that, just an opinion on what's better for an individual. I think uh, as an individual, it's, it's better to get the playing experience. Um so if you're on a G League roster and, you know, you're playing 25, 30 minutes a game, that's I think that's going to help your development. It's kind of like uh, like in high school, people, you know, they get stuck between going, should I stay on JV or should I go to varsity? And, you know, my answer is always, you know, if you're going to play on JV, then I think you should you should play. If you're just going to sit the bench on varsity, then um, I think it would kind of stunt your development a little bit. So I, I definitely – believe that you should be uh, getting the reps the best you can. So along your journey from high school to college, when did you realize, like, I, I think I can do this. I can make this a career for myself. Um, I've definitely I've, I've always had that uh, belief in me since I was a, a young kid and just through training and believing in my work. But I would say probably my my sophomore year in high school is uh, when I really, you know, uh, it started clicking for me and I, I, I really started to believe, but uh, I've always believed. And um, yeah, I had a breakout year my sophomore year and I, 
I think that was like the turning point uh, for my career. So now when you are playing like this, you know, getting some attention, getting putting up some good stats, what's it like, you know, playing for Sacramento, you had the California Classic here in Vegas, whether it's St. Mary's, Folsom, like you, you got a lot of local connections. I'm sure your, uh, your phone's been pretty busy. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely been pretty busy. Just being from the area, a lot of people know me and I've, grew up playing basketball with a lot of people and it's a very small community in terms of like the basketball community um but yeah i mean it's been great my, my phone has been blowing up so i've kind of had to uh just regulate it a little bit and um just kind of focus on my job here and uh yeah just maybe after summer league i'll get back to all those texts but right now i'm just kind of locked in on my job and uh trying to make the most of my opportunity what is after summer league? I mean, obviously, just more prep, more training, more getting ready for for the next season. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're just kind of playing it by ear right now. Um, but yeah, definitely, when I get back uh, to Sacramento, it's, it's going to be a lot of training, uh, a lot of strength training as well. Uh, trying to put on some calories so I can put on uh, you know a few pounds before the start of next season, and uh, that's pretty much my main goal. And uh, yeah, I'll be working out with uh, Rashid Can. That's my uh, my trainer. Uh, in Sacramento, and then I'll be at uh, Minnie's House of Pain, which is uh, where I strength train. Got your shout outs in there. Yeah, I got a few shout outs in there, man. I got, I got, I got to show love to my guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you had that moment where it's like, man, I, I'm playing NBA basketball, like you've got on, or I'm guarding this player, whether it's a practice, G League, NBA, Summer League, like where it's like, I can't believe I'm really doing this. Um, I would say I haven't really had that moment here. I would say. That moment more happened in high school mm -hmm. when I was uh, uh, on the EYBL circuit. Mm -hmm. When I first got to the EYBL circuit, yeah. you're playing against, uh, you know, top players every night. And uh, I feel like that stage really uh, prepared me for uh, where I am now. So lastly, what would it mean to you to, whether it's the Kings, another team, but get that word that it's a two-way contract, a regular contract, whatever it might be that you have your name attached to the NBA, what would it mean to you? Oh, it would, it would mean it would mean everything. You know, it's something I've worked for my whole life. I've been training for. And, um, you know, I, I think I'm ready for the opportunity. And it was just a, it would just be a, a huge blessing. And um, I wouldn't stop there. I know the work wouldn't stop there. And I'll just uh, just try to keep improving uh, no matter what the, the contract was. Well, you got a lot of pe uh, people rooting for you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. No, I, I definitely feel all the support, and I appreciate all the su support, especially um, from everybody in Sacramento. So, um, yeah, I, I love the support. Well, yeah. best of luck, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Easy to root for a guy like Jordan Ford. Lightning quick uh, has really pushed the pace, as he said. That's been his emphasis, and he's put together pretty good summer league. So we'll see what his future has in store. Kings have one final game here left in Vegas. And then it's decision times for, for a lot of these guys. So we wish the best to him uh, in his future. And we'll have more on the Kings, too, from here. I have a conversation coming up with Luke Lauks and Keon Ellis.